Hey, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do one click deployment of stable diffusion on runpod.io. First of all, why do we need to get a paid solution to deploy stable diffusion? The question is very valid because since we started stable diffusion on this channel, we have been using Google Collab Free Tire. But what happened is very recently, you could have seen my tutorials where I said I could not use Google Collab GPU backend because since a lot of people started using Google Collab GPU for stable diffusion and open a whisper, the available resources became restricted and sometimes you do not even get GPU provisioned whenever you want. So what I'm going to suggest you in this video is I'm going to introduce a new service called runpod.io. I'm going to take you through the different options available using runpod.io. Then we are going to see how easy and simple it is to deploy stable diffusion on runpod.io. And then finally, I'm going to say how you can secure your Gradio instance, setting up authentication for your Gradio application. And finally, we are going to launch automatic web UI of stable diffusion and play around with stable diffusion to generate the images that we want. The way you can sign up for this platform runpod.io is click sign up button but in my case since I've already signed up so I'm going to click login and it is going to directly take me to the login page so I've logged in with my account the first thing is when you click my pod you're going to see all the pods that you have started and run you can see that I have created two pods at this point and you can also see the available templates for you so these are the templates that runpod.io team had put together for you. For example, they've got a PyTorch template, they've got a stable diffusion template, they've got a disco diffusion, and you can play around with this template or you can create your own template by clicking new template. The next most important aspect of any cloud-based GPU or any cloud platform is billing. So they have got a billing tab where you can go and see how much is the available money that you have got and anything below $100, you don't have to set up automatic payment. You can set up a one-time payment. Like for example, you can take your credit card and make one-time $25 payment. And you also get to understand at this cost, how much what is the amount of number of hours that is left for your current spend based on the existing spend that you did but overall that you can create a gpu instance at a very very low cost talking about cost let's look at what kind of machines that they have got select browse servers and then you can see that they have got small medium large excel and max so to make it easier for anybody to understand the gpus they have got this t-shirt size and you can click that and then see what are the GPUs available and what is the cost that are associated with that. And also you can get into other tabs like for example, you can go to community cloud and see what is the rate. You can go to secure cloud and see what is the rate. So this is a very quick overview of runpod.io and if you create a runpod.io, make sure that you click refer a friend and then generate the link and then share it with your friends, which means anybody who signs up using your link, you are going to get a commission based on their sign up and it is going to help you in getting more credits for your runpod.io account. I'm going to quickly take you to the stable diffusion deployment part. So let's go to the landing page. Now I assume that you have reached runpod.io. So the link will be in the YouTube description. That is again, my referral link. You are not going to spend anything extra, but signing up through that will give me a little commission so that I can make more GPU experiments. If you are new, click sign up or click login. After you click login, you are going to reach this page where you have got your existing pods. Now I want you to go click templates. Once you go click templates, you can see all the current templates that are available. I'm going to suggest you to start with the most stable template here, which is the run part stable diffusion. Let's click. Once you click deploy, you'll be taken to the place where you can select the machine that you want. You've got different GPUs available under secure cloud and community cloud. So you can click community cloud. And if you want to use stable diffusion web UI, it is advised that you select a machine with more vCPUs. So I'm going to go ahead, click community cloud and then scroll down and then pick RTX 3090. So RTX 3090 got 24 GB VRAM, six vCPUs. So, and you can see the rate as well. You've got a spot rate of 0 0.06 and an on-demand rate of 0 0.44 per hour. So it's just 44 cents per hour, less than a dollar. So click select. And once you click select, you can check a few items. First, you can see whether your template has been selected already. In our case, 
the template has been selected already so i'm going to click continue and once i click continue will be taken to the last stage of the one click deployment the first one is compare where we compare the machines and select a particular machine the second one is where we do the configuration and then the third one is where we select and deploy a particular option in this screen you can see two options to deploy your instance the first option is called deploy spot and the second option is called deploy on demand deploy spot deploy your instance based on a spot price which means somebody can outbid your price and your instance might get interrupted another option is a non demand price which is not interruptible which means nobody can outbid you and your instance is not going to be interrupted so depending upon what you want you have to select the particular option so if you are very particular about cost okay if somebody claims your spot then you can go with spot price but you don't want anybody to take your spot you're okay to pay a little bit extra then i would suggest and that i would recommend you to go click on demand price which is not interruptible so click on demand and once you click on demand your instance is getting deployed at this point you can see that it says that your pod is being built as we speak it should be ready in a few minutes so it takes a few minutes for it to deploy your pod your gradio instance with automatic web ui for stable diffusion into one of the gpu instances that we just selected so go click my pods click my pods where you can go and see whether the instance has been deployed so you can see right now it says it is running which means the instance has been successfully deployed so now you can click here to see what is the cpu utilization so when the cpu utilization hits zero which means the entire setup has been completed for you so wait for cpu utilization to be zero once the cpu utilization has been zero it is a good practice for you to rename your pod i can say one little coder demo and i can submit and now you and the next thing we highly recommend to set up a gradio authentication using runpod.io it's very easy for you to set up your gradio authentication let us see how to do gradio authentication first click the hamburger menu for more actions once you click the hamburger menu you have got four options lock pod edit job restart pod reset pod so click the edit job here once you click the edit job here click the environment variables once you click environment variables this is where you can add any environment variable right now for this particular task we are going to just add gradio authentication but in the future you want to add an api key or you want to do something else this is the most secure way to add your environment variable or the password or secret token rather than hard coding it inside your code just keep that in mind once you reach this place as a key type gradio auth and inside the value type the username and password that you want so in my case i'm going to say the username should be abdrs and i'm going to say the password should be machine it should be separated by a colon so the key is in caps gradio underscore auth and the value where you have got you are going to mention username and password which is abdrs colon machine now save this instance once you save this your instance is going to get restarted once it gets restarted it is going to apply all the settings that we just updated especially it is going to do the gradio authentication which is quite important to avoid anyone on the internet brute forcing the gradio url to access your gradio instance wait for a few seconds or because this entire setup is getting restarted at this point once it restarts you can see that there is cpu utilization still the pod time is 10 second wait for a couple of more seconds for the cpu utilization to come down to zero once the cpu utilization comes down to zero your pod is ready to be consumed and just remember the reason why we are doing this the reason why we are doing this is to add a layer of gradio authentication so nobody can access your pod your web ui without your username and password at this point as we speak gpu utilization has hit zero so let's go ahead and click connect when you try to click connect you're going to get two options connect via http connect to jupyter lab if you want to make some changes to the code go to jupyter lab otherwise if you just want one click deployment of stable diffusion web ui gradio ui then go ahead 
click connect via HTTP. Once you click that, Gradio authentication link is what we just set up. And in this page, I'm going to first show you what happens when you enter the wrong password. I'm going to say the username is little coder and I'm going to type some gibberish password because we have not specified any username like this. So it is ideally going to throw an error saying incorrect credentials. Let's say you're an organization or you want to share it with your friends. You have to share the username and password. If they do not have access to your username and password, this is not going to work. And this is a very important security feature. Now let me enter the right username, which is ABDRS and the right password, which is mission. And as you can see, it has loaded the Gradio web UI for us and it has also selected the model for us. It is time for us to play with the automatic web UI to do everything stable diffusion. So let's go ahead and then go to lexica.art and then get a prompt and then paste it. This, this one looks nice. Actually, this one looks nice. I'm going to copy the prompt and go back to my stable diffusion and I'm not going to give any negative from nothing. I'm just going to click generate and then you're going to see how magically fast it is for like, I mean, like for less than a dollar, like for one hour, it is going to take less than a dollar, but for less than a dollar at the speed in which you can generate the images is quite amazing. So I click generate and then you can see the progress here in less than three seconds, not even three seconds in about two seconds we have got the image ready. So now if you want to use this image, you can keep it. Or if you do not like this image, you can click generate again and it is going to generate another image for you. And after it has generated another image for you, now you have multiple options. You can send this image to image to image. You can send this image to in paint or you can send it to extras. And you can also do a lot of things. If you see the tabs here, you've got text to image, you've got image to image, You've got extras where you can try a lot of other things like upscaling, you know, making it high resolution and you have D forum and you have a lot more things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say send to extras. After I send to extras, I'm going to try to upscale the image. I'm going to use ESR GAN and I'm going to make it 4x upscaler. I'm going to do it at two and I'm going to click generate again. And when I click generate again, it is going to create a larger, like higher resolution of the same image. Like for example, if you want to replace stock photography, maybe you are a marketer, you want to replace stock photography with stable diffusion. I don't know how much your stock photography is going to cost you, but in less than a dollar, you can generate a bunch of images and that image is going to be really high resolution and you can start. Let's quickly look at image to image as well. So I can send this image to image to image. And after this image comes here, now I have different options that I can do. So I can use this and then give a new prompt. Like for example, I can say um, this Tom Cruise, like this image and I can say Tom Cruise and I can click generate and then I can see, and we can also go see what we ran already, which is looking for the higher resolution image of the same, um, the Wakanda warrior that we got. So we can just save the image, right click and save the image, or you can open the output directory and then you can copy the image from that. But you can see, how easy it is and uh, also you know like you don't have to spend a lot of money in fact like um, like for example by the time i finish this we wouldn't have spent even a dollar and um, it is very cost efficient in that manner so you have a lot of different options here so now let us say that you have done everything that you wanted to do um, like if you have different model you can select here um, you can do image image you can do even in painting so you can do everything much, much faster than what your uh, Google Collab would do, but um, more stabilized, more consistent. You don't have to wait for Google Collab to give you the mercy of getting a GPU provision. Once you are done playing with your Gradio web UI of stable diffusion, close the browser tab. After you have closed the browser tab, go to your my pods and you can still see that your pod has been running. So now to shut down this pod, click the stop button and it is going to give you a warning. So now you can click stop pod. And once you click stop pod, you can see that we have successfully exited the pod. We have shut down the machine that we wanted to use or that we have used. And now nobody can access the machine. This will also enable you to keep your cost down so that your machine is not being unnecessarily up when you do not want to use the Gradio web UI of stable diffusion. We have successfully managed to deploy stable diffusion automatic web UI with the Gradio application on runpod.io and managed to create an image, upscale the image to high resolution, 
do in painting, do image to image and almost everything that people do with stable diffusion. This is an excellent service. Once again, like I said, I'm going to give my referral link in the YouTube description. And I hope this tutorial was helpful to you in learning how to do one click stable diffusion deployment on runpod.io. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I would like to thank the runpod.io team for giving me the credits to make this video. And I would like to hear from you how you felt about this experience and then have you gone ahead and created your own stable diffusion web UI. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.